Hi guys, how's it going? Davok here. Welcome back to another LFM race. We have week 4 of season 12 and today's track is Solda. The qualifying is already done and I finished on position 11. My lap was pretty decent, I got one purple. However, I could still go faster but I just couldn't make it in the qualifying. I'm driving again the Aston Martin. Enjoy the race, let's go. Here we go, sprint race on Solda, 25 minutes, starting from P11. I've got bad, memory, bad memories on this track. I had my worst accident here ever in ACC. Let's go. Leave the space to the Ferrari to the right. Car on the left. I've got my position there. I didn't cut the track. No need to flash me. Not even a warning. I just drove over the curb. So far so good. P10. First lap done. Go, go, go. There's one car on the track, stuck. I wonder why. And one spun. That's a free position right there. Lucky for us. The red Lambo had got some issues, I assume. He's super slow in the first part of the track. Weird, weird. Another guy standing at the entrance of the box. That's super weird. He was gone for one lap and now he's back there. I do not like that if there's a car on the track at all times causing a yellow flag. I really, really dislike that. Do you have that in your races, you guys? Write it down in the comments. I'm really interested in your experience. I've got this, let's say, every second race. It's really not so nice. Just random dudes parking his car somewhere on the track or even parking it in the in the pit but not really in the pit spot so it's still causing a yellow flick at all times I don't like that another, another yellow flick there's another Ferrari hitting the wall to the right. The green one. That's another free position. E8. So the red lamp will pass the Ferrari ahead of us. Let's try to do like him.
let's observe his line where we can overtake him. I assume we are a little bit faster than him. Going way too wide, the both of us. Some guy is going to the pit. Why that is? That's weird random. He maybe forgot to refuel after the qualifying. That's another free position. Weird, weird. Or maybe he had some damage, but it didn't look like that. And uh, wet. No, not wet. The guy behind me spun. He wanted to take the curb like me, and his car couldn't handle it. <laughs> that was funny. That was the guy who. Oh, yeah. With the lights. Flashed me in the first lap. That's some delayed karma right there. So what's your opinion on Zolder, you guys? So this is my impression. It's a rather unpopular track. But... I, I really, really enjoy driving on it. It's an awesome track to race on. The overtake opportunities are rare, but it's still a nice track to race on. So I always uh, happy and enjoy it if it's on the race calendar in the LFM. I really need to pass this guy, he's holding me up. But where? Where should I overtake him? not getting nervous or anything and I don't not have the acceleration on the slowest party of the track because of the Aston Martin carry away sticks unfortunately it's really tough to overtake for me Oh, hitting the curb, losing it a little bit. Come on, focus. Focus. Halfway there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. You're obviously enjoying it. So give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't, subscribe the channel. It really helps me. Thank you very much. There was our chance to overtake him. He did a mistake. But I wasn't there to take it. Maybe next chance. tough one to get past this Ferrari. Una. 
Hoon ahead is a tough challenge for me. <sighs> come on, come on. God damn it, first corner. First corner. My car is really struggling there. I am struggling, not the car. Cannot handle the car. I am struggling. doing just fine you guys 10 more minutes 10 more minutes to get past this guy he's got nerves of steel you guys like always half a second behind him and he doesn't do any mistakes At least he's letting me pass by again. I assume it was a racing incident. He didn't expect me to slow much, uh, to slow that much down. But he's a gentleman. He's a gentleman letting me pass by. And the guy behind him is a gentleman as well because he didn't take the chance to overtake him while he was slowing down to let me pass again. So... There's no reason to uh, report that such issue. It might might be even my mistake, but according to what I just witnessed, and I, he didn't expect me to slow down that much, and we just touched a little bit. No big accident. Everything is fine. So no report from my side, obviously. So I wish him the best luck. And yeah, safety rating, who cares? I'm just fine. I'm on the upper edge of the safety rating. No track limits yet, so that's just a few incidence points. We are just doing fine. Typical racing incident. Maybe I shouldn't have closed there. I didn't want to lose the position and want to stay inside because I was so slow, forcing him to go wider. But he couldn't react in time, obviously. I think it was on my end more, but he was really a gentleman there. Props to him. Props to him. It's rare to see such... Uh, fairness on the track, but when I see it, it's always always nice. So props to him So we lost a quite a lot of time to the guy ahead of us obviously time to catch up again Oh, okay, where are we going? Very wide. 
he lost it into turn one. That's another free position for us. Woohoo! Top six. Great, great. Great for us. Very unlucky for the guy ahead of us. He struggled in turn one a couple of laps. But now he lost it. I feel him. It's really a tough one to accel accelerate out of turn one. So let's see. We have uh, Victor in the Porsche ahead of us. The highest ELO guy in this race. Let's see if we can catch up to him. Maybe. But we do not have a lot of time left. Five more minutes. Five more minutes, you guys. Doesn't look like we can catch up. He should be as fast as we are. Maybe a little faster, maybe a little slower, but not enough to overtake him. If he's not doing a major um, error at some point, we shouldn't be able to get him. But that's five positions gained in total yet. Oh, we're doing a mistake here. Cutting the corner. Yes, yes. This, this one was deserved. I just forgot to break. I break way too late. Just lucky enough that the guys behind me are far away. Else I should have given them the position there. But that's a track cut. A proper track cut, you guys. I'm sorry. Even I do mistakes. Go ahead. Charge. I think we just gained a little bit. It does look like we are getting closer. Let's see his time. 131, 3. Yes, we got closer. A little bit less than a second. Maybe just did a mistake somewhere. The last sector wasn't so strong for him. But getting close to him is one thing. Overtaking him is another one, so I doubt I get the chance to overtake him. fuel real fast got about three more laps to go with my fuel and we are only driving one more lap so fuel is just fine a little bit too much but i'm on the safe end of course We've got a new challenger behind us, the green Ferrari.
is close. It's really close. Point three. Holy cow. Last lap, another challenge. Super, super close, you guys. Oh no, I'm going right here. Oh, some lap car ahead of us. Please get out of the way. Oh, that was unnecessary. But he managed just fine. It was a tough one for him, I guess. And so we finished. On, on P6, you guys. P6. A lot of positions gained there. It was quite tough to keep the car on track. I really enjoyed driving on Zolder. It was a nice session once more, you guys. If you enjoyed this race, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more LFM races like these, definitely subscribe this channel. It's free and helps me a lot growing this channel. Thank you very much. And at the end of the video, special thanks to the membership, guys. You will be listed as always. This was your Darbok. Have a good one. Take care. Bye bye.